Welcome, I hope you're all well. Uh, thank you for joining me. I'm going to be looking at um, some content that we've got, some technical content that's available to you. You may have periods where you're not as busy as you have been in the past and this will give you the opportunity to maybe upskill or just familiarize yourself with some of the guidance that we've got out there. Some of the questions Jake and I have been getting when traveling in the UK have been around SPDs, where you should or shouldn't be installing them. So I'm going to take a look at the answer to this one, and it's not going to be what Jake said or what Darren said, it's going to be looking at what the technical people back at head office were coming up with with regards to articles and policies and procedures. So I'm going to delve into NIC EIC website and take a look at some of the technical articles that are available for you and your colleagues. So here we go, let me just share with you the website. So that's our website, niceic.com. And I want to draw your attention to the very top here. So up here where it says, log into my NIC EIC. We're gonna click on that part and it brings us up to this new page. Now, at this part here, please, if you do not have login details to this, because I've logged straight in once before, it's automatically accepting me, and it's one of my colleagues here, I'm using their account to do this one, it's automatically letting me go through. It will ask for an email address or your login details. If you haven't got login details there, then contact us. So if I go back to this page here, have a look down the bottom here, the contact section of here, all the messages, you can leave messages, start to get in contact with us to ask for access to this login details up here. So my NIC EIC login. I'm going to draw your attention once we're in this window here to technical support. That opens up a really big load of content there that is really, really useful for you, the contractors that are out there. I'm going to go to technical guidance over on the left hand side here. At the moment, we've got loads of technical guidance. If you look through here, there is lots and lots and lots to be looking at. However, that's because all the tabs that you see across the top here are open. I want to just draw down on. 18th edition articles. I said majority of the questions that Jake and I were getting were in and around SPDs and here there are two fantastic articles that the publication team have come up with looking at SPDs. I'll just click on one and quickly show you what it looks like. It was available for you via our Connections magazines but here you go it's also available for you electronically. It looks at all the questions that are coming from this article so if you're not quite sure how to get your head around it from a regulations point of view you can review this article that has lots and lots of answers in there. It's got a conclusion there of what you should or shouldn't be doing as contractors. It is really really useful. So just to confirm if you're registered with NIC, EIC or Alexa, and Alexa have a slightly different login details to this one, but again, it's just you go to the Alexa website and then from there you log in as yourself, go to the customer portal, drives your same name down to the same avenue here. You get into exactly the same information as what you've just seen. Now, I must emphasize, this is for those that are registered with NIC, EIC or Alexa. Um, and again, it's the part of the value added stuff that we've got in the secure part of the website for you guys. So please take a look at that and it will really help you when it comes to those questions around SPDs. We're gonna look at some more with you in some more details. We're gonna to start to look at some more different topics, but until next time, please stay safe and I hope to see you again soon.